Thank you very much, Director of Ceremonies, for giving me the floor. Your Excellency, Jacob Ozum, President of the Republic of South Africa, Honorable Premier of the Gauteng Province, Honorable Speaker of the National Assembly, Honorable Deputy President of the Republic of South Africa, Honorable Chief Justice and members of the judiciary, honorable members of parliament, executive mayor of the city of Tswane, your excellencies, members of the diplomatic corps, dear brothers and sisters, citizens of the Republic of South Africa, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, I am most honored to deliver the message of solidarity in my capacity as chairperson of SADC Organ on Politics, Defense and Security Corporation to the government and the people of South Africa on this special occasion of the celebration of the 20th anniversary of freedom and democracy. The momentum events of 27th of April, 1994, when the people of South Africa participated in the epoch-making non-racial and democratic elections marked the triumph of the human spirit and the resistance over the oppressive and inhuman system of apartheid, which belittled the beautiful country for more than 300 years. After the arrival of colonial settlers in Cape of Good Hope in 1652, majority of the people of South Africa were dehumanized, robbed of their dignity, and denied basic human rights under the successive oppressive regimes. This was escalated in 1948 with the institutionalization of apartheid as a government policy. In order to free themselves from apartheid tyranny and regain their dignity, the people of South Africa embarked upon the long walk to freedom under the leadership of the National Liberation Movement. Thousands of men and women put their lives on the line. They were tortured, imprisoned, and subjected to inhuman treatment in their long heroic struggle for democracy and justice for all. The struggle against apartheid oppression and colonialism was a common struggle. Our people shared the common trenches on the battlefield. Today, we warmly congratulate the government and the fraternal people of South Africa for their hard-won freedom and democracy. We are happy to note that the culture of democratic governance has grown deep roots in South Africa. In a few days, the people of South Africa will be going to the polls for the national and the provisional elections. We have no doubt 
that this process will be conducted in a free, fair, and transparent manner as the people of South Africa choose their leaders. We wish you well. On this day, we commend the government and the people of South Africa for having maintained a peace at home through a dynamic multi-party democratic system of governance and a sustained economic growth, which has led to the improvement of the living conditions of millions of South Africans through the delivery of public services and the creation of job opportunities for many people especially those who were victims of apartheid. Last year, we joined the government and the people of South Africa, and indeed the international community at large, to pay tribute and bid farewell to Nelson Mandela, the first president of democratic South Africa. He was an illustrious son of Africa and an icon of the liberation struggle. Indeed, he epitomized the total commitment to democratic governments, freedom, and justice in South Africa, our region, our continent, and indeed for all of humanity. We recognize the leading role that this great country continues to play in regional, continental, and international forum. Through SADC, SACU, the AU, G20, BRICS, and the United Nations, South Africa is making immense contribution towards international peace and security sustainable economic and social development, and the creation of fair global trade system. The peaceful transformation from apartheid rule to a non-racial democratic dispensation 20 years ago stands out as an enduring inspiration to the people of our region, our continent, and the world at large to strive for and respect the human dignity. On this occasion, SADC joins hands with the people of South Africa in defense of the gains of freedom and democracy here in South Africa and the broader SADC region. We stand together with you in a common effort towards lasting peace, security on our continent, underpinned by sustainable development and social justice for all our people. I thank you.